We're back, baby, and today we're going to talk about how to get Snap Your Aim. Have you ever looked at someone like Shroud and thought, how can his aim be so clean and my clips don't look anywhere near that? Well, it might actually be a technique issue more than a skill one. We'll take a look at what characterizes Snap Your Aim and how to actually achieve it. So when we talk about Snap Your Aim, we have to address three key words, and that's stopping power, confidence, and skill. Now, that might seem like a bunch of fancy words, but I'll explain exactly why I use each one. Firstly is stopping power. This is very important because hypothetically, if you flick and even if you then land on target or you move your mouse around, it won't look as clean even if you're hitting your shots. That's because a snap is in a singular motion with a minimal loss of mouse movement. Rather than snapping and perhaps due to tension or your inability to spray, your crosser is flying around everywhere even when you're hitting. If we take a look at Shroud's aim, the quality isn't really helping me here, but we can notice one tiny detail. Right before he's about to shoot, he subconsciously actually confirms that he's on target before clicking. Rather than simply flicking and clicking at the same time, which is what many of you do and practice in Kovacs. This habit of confirming your shots actually builds up consistency because we subconsciously are aware that anyone has the ability to hit a lucky shot by throwing their mouse out there and hoping for the best. But when we see that visual confirmation, we recognize the reaction time and the ability to adjust or click when needed. That is, at its core, what makes a snap. The ability to confirm, not the ability to flick your mouse as fast as you can. The key word here being subconsciously. You can't really force this when you're in game, because if you do, you'll end up taking way too long time. It should simply be a millisecond of your eyes confirming that you're on target or not before clicking. This subconscious habit is something I always harp on with static. Actually taking your time to confirm can then help build up subconscious structure that you need for when you hop into the game. Since Kovacs is about building good habits and not only mechanical skill. Moving on to the last word here, which is actually that skill. You might think that this is obvious, but what sort of skills do we need? Firstly, and yes, it's going to be boring, are those pesky fundamentals that are holding you back. For most of you, your issues aren't lack of tension or lack of micros. It's simply that you lack the overall fundamentals required to address your issue. Those specific issues you feel have been nagging you or holding you back from the aim you want to achieve is only possible once you build solid groundwork. Practicing an overall skill set before addressing specific issues like this cannot be understated. But let's pretend you have the decent skill set. What do we then do? Well, firstly is clean lines, our ability to smoothly flick to the target. This is really done by a couple of steps. Using the h &A routines or like my own aimbot routines are a great help. Stuff like poke ball and target switching are your best friend. Secondly, is that visual confirmation and static? Don't worry about going fast or slow nor any other technique. Simply make sure you're a thousand percent on target before clicking. It'll be hard at first, but working your way up there will really yield results. Lastly, is your inability to smoothly track and move at the same time. Yes, move. I know many of you have heard movement isn't useful, but I'm here to tell you it's the complete opposite. When we add movement into the mix, we're adding a factor that isn't practiced in Kovacs. Therefore, we're essentially neglecting a key part in our aim. I see this all the time, where people don't sync their movement with their aim. This has to be one of the most underlying issues aim training mains struggle with. And it's the one thing you can leave here today and feel like it'll help you instantly. Just prioritize 15 minutes of your practice to be movement related and the rest can be stationary. Sorry to keep you guys waiting for so long. I hope you enjoyed this video and I appreciate your patience. I love you guys. Do consider joining my Discord and signing up for my aim coaching if you enjoyed this sort of analysis and want to actually better your aim from a real aim coach and not just someone who tells you to change sensitivities. Done.